Okay, finally the fun begins. I would like to teach you how to approach slide design here in PowerPoint. I would like you to start by selecting a picture. You can, for example, do this on pixabay.com because we have free photographs here. And I saw this leaves, this autumn photograph, and I feel drawn to it. I have to use it. So, okay, I have this, this beautiful image. And what's great on this website that uh, you can download it for free. I have it in my native language here because it's automatically translated. But what's cool, the image can be automatically resized. So we, we are close to a full HD resolution. I'll download this. I'll acknowledge that I'm no robot and I'll just download save. Boom. Okay. How do I want to approach this? I want to delete everything and I would like to use the image I had. Okay. Put it as a background and you could imagine that I should also select right click format background and just use the picture for the background. Note it isn't a it isn't exactly the best way because yes, we cannot click on it, but we cannot move it. So if this would be a picture, I could move it. And I like to have my creative freedom and I want to move the picture manually. Okay. Please take a picture and the picture you select and drag it to the entire screen. As you remember from the previous lessons, I want to crop it and I would like to crop it to the end of my slide. Okay. Like this crop. And this would be a perfect start to our presentation. Now I would like to teach you how to create overlays. For this overlay, I'll need a gradient. And that's why I wanted to show you this great website. And by the way, I am also not promoting this website. It's just so great that it's simply very nice to use, especially for people who never designed uh, who never were really designers and do not know a lot of gradients from the top of their head. So you can go to a website like this, you can click on show all gradients and you have, well, not many, but a bunch of absolutely beautiful gradients. And what would work here? Maybe this, really any style you would like to apply to this picture will work. Mm, Velvet Sun looks interesting, but what do I want here? Maybe this, somehow this alive seems really nice to me. I, I'm kind of into those reds today. Okay. And we have those two colors. One way of bringing this gradient into PowerPoint is pressing just print screen on your keyboard, pressing into PowerPoint, control V, and you have a screen uh, of your entire uh, desktop. I'll usually just go to picture tools, crop. I make this smaller. And here I'm showing you another trick because this is how you oh, maybe let's select. So it's the red and the, the, the pink from left to right. Okay. Crop. And this would be kind of a great way to have this gradient inside your presentation. Okay. What do I mean with an overlay? I would like you to go to insert, go to shapes and select a big rectangle. Make the rectangle as your entire slide. Boom, like this. Do not worry that it covers up the entire thing. Okay, now I will start to edit it. First, I go to shape outline. I select no outline. Then I right click on it and I select format shape. As you can see, I have it already opened. And on the format shape, you want to go to gradients. This is the gradient I used before, but usually, well, let me reset this. <clears throat> Let me show you an example gradient from PowerPoint. As you can see, you have those colors and now if I click here, I can add new colors. And if I click on them and make my mouse outside of the screen, it will delete the colors. Okay. So you want to select the first color. You all want to open the bucket and you want to select the eyedropper and note on PowerPoint 2010, the eyedropper still wasn't around. It's the same for PowerPoint for Mac 2011, I believe, but PowerPoint for Mac 2016 and PowerPoint 2013 already had eyedropper. So if you have any newer version, you will of course have the eyedropper. I'll click and I'll select my first color. Then I select the second one. I again eyedropper click and I select the second color. So I have this gradient. You have many ways of editing this gradient. And I would like you to click on all of them. 
click on linear. Well, maybe this gradient has a very similar color, so it isn't perfectly visible. And then you have the direction of this gradient. For the sake of training, you could select a really different color, so you really see now what's happening. And actually, this blue looks also beautiful. And I'm really amazed how, what nice results we can get. I want the gradient to go from top to bottom. For that, I want a linear gradient. And I want to change the direction from top to bottom. It's either this or this. Let's maybe make blue on the top. Okay, perfect. Now I click on the blue color, once I have this, and as you can see here on the right side, we have transparency. And this is one of my favorite functions in PowerPoint. So I will raise the transparency and my picture is slowly revealing. Okay, the blue is a bit transparent. Now I select this, this reddish, orangish, pinkish, and I also make it a bit transparent. Mmm, that's so beautiful. And do we want the blue here? Maybe make this more transparent. I'm not entirely sure about the blue, so I'll click on the blue. I'll either select my recent colors or I'll just use the eyedropper and go back to this orange. Yeah, this orange looks better here. So I'll make it a bit transparent. Depending on the amount I need, I'll make it about 60%, but on one side I wanted it not to be so much covered up. Okay, like this. And now, what's the difference? This is the overlay I prepared. This is a very beautiful overlay. And this is a great beginning to my slide design. Okay, at this point I would like to end. We did learn a ton. And if you will be not able to create this, do not worry. I just wanted to show you some concepts of, of using gradients, using pictures and making like coloristic overlays. And all that combined later on makes a great slide design. In the next lecture, I would like to quickly finish this, this design and we will be done with the first part. I hope it's okay and let's see each other in the next lesson.